we have just arrived in Naples and we are on this special special mission to taste 10 different local foods in less than 48 hours it's a challenge and somebody has to sacrifice themselves so let's go this is our chauffeur he is called papa ricardo uh -huh. and as usual he takes us to all the train stations that we need to go to A any time in the morning <laughs> <laughs> E now, papà, dove stiamo andando, io e Benedetta? A Napoli! A Napoli! A Napoli. <ride> Grazie, papi! Grazie, Amore mio, santo, ma questo è niente per voi. Ciao, papi! Ciao, stelline mie, buon viaggio! And we have arrived in Naples. At our very first stop, right by the train station, we are going to taste sfogliatelle. Sfogliatelle? Due sfogliatelle? E basta per adesso? Uh, ok. Allora vado a pagare. As a first stop, I think we'll be gonna like this. This is called sfogliatella. And there are two varieties. This one is called riccia, which means curly. And it is made with puff pastry filled with ricotta, candied fruits, Cinnamon, natural aromas, natural aromas, and, um, and look. I like that you asked me what's inside. It's very nice. <laughs> she has no idea. Look. Oh, the sound. What do we want to see? The sound? Here. And the sound, Ben. Why don't you the get sound. close? I'll, I'll get close so that you can hear the bite. Listen. Mm. Mm. And did we mention that this is warm? My gosh. If, and you know, I don't have a sweet truth. But this is to die for. Mm. Well, as a first stop in Naples, welcome to Naples. Yeah, definitely welcome to Naples. Ci lascio in buone mani. Grazie, grazie. Salve, ci sei pesce. Un attimo solo. Ma certo. Voi siete. Due caffè a visione giornaliste. Buongiorno. Now let's see how they prepare coffee here in Naples. Ah, sì, sì, perché si fa già con lo zucchero dentro? Ok, facciamolo. Sì, già zuccherato. Già zuccherato ce la fanno. Già zuccherato. So, they're going to prepare it already with sugar. So he just purged the machine, and that is something very important, because you do not want the previous coffee to be attached on it. So that is something I'm very happy about. So we're having coffee. This is the owner of this place. And this is the coffee we're going to have. Caffè napoletano, which is different. Ah, è vero, lo zucchero non serve. Metti, metti le qua sopra. Okay, wait, let me see. Prendi, prendi, prendi la tele. Okay, go. Ah, è vero, perché mi ero già dimenticata che porta che a Roma non si non si zucchera. No, noi lo facciamo, prego, signora. Grazie. Lo gira anche a voi, okay. perché sennò lei si offende. Eh certo. Eh, certo. Girata la signora, a lei no. Eh. Coffee. Prego. Grazie. Un po' un caffè. Prego, signora. Grazie mille. Il caffè qui è una totale diversa arte. Sì. È una totale diversa arte e bisogna bere in un modo diverso. Che Buonissimo. Buono. 
buonissimo molto, complimenti molto buono. grazie qual è difficilissimo col caffè? Grazie. molto difficile <ride> un caffè con un po' di latte a parte Lilli qua c'è? Eh? buonissimo il nostro amico molto buono When you see something else that they do in Italy, they always give you a glass of water when you have coffee because then you clean your palate before, which we did not do. No. Because the flavor of those water candles was so good, we didn't have to remove it. And then a little bit of, of uh, slightly fizzy to clean your palate after. See, this is tradition. This is culture. We are in the very central part of Naples and this is a street of our hotel Benny let's go see where it is exactly <laughs> so I mean Naples has so much personality did you see it there it is okay let's go And we have arrived. Let's go check in. This is the inside of our hotel. They're showing us around and they want to offer us another coffee. Look how beautiful. Did you find it? Have faith in your sister. She says that she knows how to read Google Maps but I'm not sure. <coughs> Trovato? Eh? It's here. So it has to be here. Pizza is here. It's this one. I love this. I think you have to like walk looking upwards eccolo we found it let's go try a pizza fritta we are about to have the real pizza fritta napoletana look at that oh. mozzarella smoke provola Ciccioli napoletani, pancetta bacon, tomato sauce, black pepper. It's very, very traditional. Non la mettere qua adesso. La devi prendere quando sta qua. E poi tagliamo. Va bene. È stato bello che uno può tagliare tutto. E dove si? Dove si? Dove? Noi siamo di Roma. Siamo di Roma ma abbiamo una società, ci occupiamo di turismo e gastronomico. Portiamo gli stranieri a mangiare e bere, a conoscere l'Italia. Eh. Come si chiama questo? Il cappello di... Cappello di prete. Brava, lei è la secchiona. Eh, fai bene. Vabbè, vale, ma ci mangiamo una in due? Eh, ah, sì, ecco. Certo. Ah, ecco. <ride> e quando tu non mangi? Non lo so. Vabbè, l'ha buttata lì, ho detto. Voleva mangiarsi una sola pizza, solo lei. Hai visto? Eh. <ride> Cappello di prete, guarda mi sta gonfiando, che figata! Basta fargli una carezza, diventa una valigia. <ride> Hai visto? Guarda, guarda che meraviglia! Ma che mani come questi telefonini? Eh lo so. Vale? È vero che tu devi fare per YouTube, io devo fare anche per social media. Look at that. Look at that. Grazie. Grazie. 
dough. Look at that. <laughs> Scotta. <laughs> Grazie. Here is the Cappello di Prete, which, you know, we came here to eat one dish and they gave us another one. This is so great. He decided what we should eat. And what to stuff it with. He so just, he just decided and then he... It's moz, it, it's ricotta. Ricotta, pro, provola, ciccioli, and tomato, and I don't know about it, just who cares, just let's just eat it, because that's how it works. We said, can we pay? He goes, yeah, first you eat, then you pay. <laughs> that's how it is in Naples. And we go with the flow. One in Naples. One in Naples. I think this is hot, and I think, hopefully let's not make a mess. Because it is fried, but it is fried, but it is in. It's not. It's not greasy. It's not greasy, and this place we found searching. I found it because of a YouTuber, a local YouTuber. And she said this. we, because we. you have to know that when we plan these things, when we plan any kind of trip, I just, I just go along. But I'm a great, I'm a great traveling partner. Yeah. I don't complain. I just go with the flow. I do whatever. And I like it. Bummer. Nice. And so this wasn't on our list. No. And so I think we're going to go way above 10. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the second thing that was not on our list. Buonissima. <coughs> Veramente buona. Mm. No. <laughs> Scusa, mi... Dentro che... Allora... Detto c'è ricotta, ricotta, provola, cicoli e pomodoro, four things. Why don't you explain what cicoli are? È un pizzico di pecorino. Mi hanno un bel pecorino cheese. Cicoli are pieces of lard, fat, no? It's like these little pieces. So of like meat. little chunks of pork. Pork, like. Bacon is not the word, right? No. no. Well, he called it bacon. He called it bacon because I don't think they know. It's sort of like in Rome when you call guanciale, you, you really, there is no translation. It's what it is. So it's just little chunks of delicious, crunchy pork lard, like bacon, and it's good. Mm. Just to give you an idea of how wonderful Naples is. So we just walked down this road. And on the corner, we have a fish vendor with beautiful looking fish. I mean, look at this. Sip is a squid, no? So look at these squids. Look at the beautiful freshness of the fish. But we'll show you where this place is located. Just like that. Just like that. Here you have a, a shop that sells clothes, shoes various things and there they are we're going to stop for pizza fritta at this very famous name sorbillo is a very famous and important name in the pizza world and so we are going to try Esterina, where they are going to prepare pizza fritta. And so you'll see what it's all about. Certo, look how they are made. This is pizza fritta in the making. You see, when they fry here, what they do is very important to pour the olive, the oil on top of it because it blows up. Is this ours? No. It's huge. Wow.
Oh, ok, grazie. Che meraviglia. I want to show you, look! And look where we are. I mean, look where we are. We're just eating just like that. I mean, how happy is this place? No, it's happy. I mean, it's just happy. And imagine what it must be like when the sun shines. Yes, because today is not yes, a very but sunny day, beautiful. but it's not raining. But you have to hold this because I need to push stop. When I was looking and studying to the places to Okay, go, she, she's, she's the one that studied. I didn't do absolutely anything. Do you want to point it out every time we eat? No, but I wanted to show you. Now, I don't know. I just, I mean, the people that I saw when they were eating pizza fritta, they said there's one way to eat it. Gosh, show me. What show they did me. is that they said that locals do it like this. They rip off the first piece. So instead of just eating this dough without anything, <laughs> they would stick it no. inside. I just find it. I just can't find it. I'm not good at doing this. They would stick it inside so that they would get all the sauce. And then. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like it. Is it good? Wow. And the reason. Naples. <laughs> falling apart. <laughs> I want to show you, look. And locals were telling me how this is actually the first type of pizza created because back then people did not have ovens in their, in their homes. What they did have was a big pan, a big pot with, with oil to fry. So, you know, this is a this was very inexpensive. It um, you could eat it everywhere because life in Naples is very is like on the streets. On the street. So it's like street food sort of life because it was like one of the most important ports of Italy. Why aren't we eating as we're talking? You're talking. You should be eating. I should be eating. This is really good. And, well, and so this was one of the first look. Types of, what are you gonna do with the fork? I got a fork and a knife. <laughs> I wonder why. I wonder why. That was invented. I love, I love how they. Unlike us in Rome, they put ricotta everywhere here. But they also have provola, so they don't. Oh my gosh. Now we're getting into the inside part. Do you wanna peek what's inside? Again, those ciccioli. Mozzarella di bufala, Mamma mia. provola, ricotta, and you just sort of like rip this off. We got it with chicha, we got the, the, the normal one there, the okay. Yeah. Because they have various they had various options. But we wanted to go with the classic. Yeah. And you know look. <laughs> We're just in the middle of the street. have you discover taralli which is something extremely extremely local now here they have different varieties we may have to come here for spritz tonight I think tonight. that this is where we're going to come have our aperitivo tonight but we'll show you anyway wow. look salve now look taralli are these like dough they're savory the traditional ones are made i think these are the traditional ones they're made with lard, pork fat, pepper, and almonds. 
This place has different versions and varieties. And are these sweet? These yes. are the sweet ones. And I think we may need to try the traditional and this one. This is yes. the traditional sweet this one, Betty. This is with lemon. I love this, the savory ones. I mean, they're so beautiful. This place is really nice. Yeah. Okay. I mean, how, how do these work? So they all cost one euro each. Which one do you want? I want the traditional one. So it's this one, I guess, right? I see. Okay. So we get two traditional ones, and then what do you want? Look. And I want the sweet one. Okay, so these we don't get. We just get two traditional ones and two sweet ones? Yeah, well, then maybe for our aperitivo. Then we'll come back. We'll come back. Okay. Benny, please talk to us. Why don't you share the story of the Taralli? <laughs> So taralli is a typical, uh, it's a typical savory uh, sort of, cookie is not the right word, but it's, it's a savory dough that is cooked in the oven and belongs to the southern part of Italy. And it is eaten usually as an aperitivo or as a bread. Oh, what is it? I don't like you. You're embarrassing me in front of people. Why is the food here so rich in fat fried lard because you have to think this was again this was a port people had to work a lot they could carry these around with them you know they would they were they were i mean really you can feel the you lard can, you can feel the lard you can taste the lard it's got also another thing that you did not say which is very important well that, you interrupted me sorry but please go ahead and tell tell them what i was not what, what I knew that you were going to say yes. was that, so you have the lard and then you also have the, the um, almonds inside because however they are, they are caloric, they give calories, they give energy, so it's, you know, it's carbs that would keep people right. healthy and warm and, and right, yeah. this was what you were going to say, right? Yes, because, you know, people here used to, why am I like, wait, let me move this, yeah. no, like that. Did not study, but I know my stuff. <laughs> People had a lot of like hard work to do and they just, you know, this was a quick snack, this was a way to An energy drink, <laughs> an energy food. And now obviously we gave that touch of aperitivo and stuff like that, but that is not why they were actually but born. But we will do this tonight. This was pairs perfectly well with a spritz. Mm -hmm. This is one of the most characteristic streets of Naples, San Gregorio Armeno, where you have all these artisanal, all these artisanal artworks and a lot of nativities. And what they do every year, they create new ones according to like the, the politicians or the soccer players or celebrities. So come with us because this is like a tiny street, but is it is very very famous, and we'll show you why. Look at the coffee pots. Look, you see, it is all about the presepi, the nativities, in like their most creative way. This Isn't is it? beautiful. Maradona is considered like a god here yes. because he played in the soccer team of Naples. He had the team win so many, um, what's it called? So Everything. Many, so many championships. championships yeah, that's the word. The idol. I mean, you could see Santo, Santo Maradona. And a lot of people are called, a lot of kids, a lot of adults now are called Diego. Si. Now we're going to taste. Pizza a portafoglio. Portafoglio means wallet. And so what is a pizza at the wallet, by the wallet? Pizza portafoglio, Benny. You just wait and see. You just wait and see why it's called pizza portafoglio. Yeah, so you'll see why. Okay. We're actually going to taste two things. 
pizza a portafoglio and la frittatina which is a frittata of pasta another local food look i, I love how i love how they publish publish do oh pizza. look only pizza <laughs> look Uber, Uber. the only pizza do you see how they serve <laughs> Sai ci sta, noi. Salute, salute. Esatto. Aspetta, lo rifai al rilentatore, per favore. Wait, I asked him to do it again. Because I wanted to show you. Ok. È uguale. Sì, vabbè. Okay, you see they put it on and they fold it in half and then in four and that is like a wallet. E poi? You see? Pizza portafoglio. And by the way, the cost is two euros two euros for a pizza like this now let's go eat it okay. here the size of the pizza is slightly smaller <laughs> and it's not fried <laughs> It's slightly smaller than usual, than the one that you would find on the plate. And because it's street food. It's street food. So you see, this is a pizza to go, to walk, where you don't need, ha you don't need a fork or a knife. Don't eat the paper. And it's even studied because the cheese is in inside, in the heart. So that as you eat it, it doesn't you don't get dirty. Well, Benny's probably going to get dirty, but no. No. Don't get dirty. Oh, we're doing like together. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a frittatina, which is a it's pasta. Pasta that is cooked and then it's mixed with eggs and then it's uh, it's um, I, I, I assume this is fried, right? It's street food. So this you even have food. pasta where you don't need your knife and your fork. So you have spaghetti. It's spaghetti. With oops. Oops. Danny, <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, well I wanted to break this without oh. breaking it. See look. Oh there's other things inside. You see? And so, again, street food because people, first of all, this originated because people went, why are we out of focus? I have no idea. Because you stopped it. I didn't, I didn't touch anything. You did touch it. I did. Because, first of all, Benny. Benny. You see? You see? A two-year-old. Frittata di pasta is again a way for Italians not to throw food. What do you do with leftover pasta? You add some something inside and then you deep, you deep fry it and, and, you, and you just eat it like that. And then they turned it into something portable, a portable pasta. Veramente uh, buona. Veramente, veramente buonissima. And it has the ragù napoletano in it, I think. Wow. This is really good. The sun came out. Look <laughs> how beautiful. I mean, guys, I mean, Naples is just clothes freshly washed hanging out of the window. I mean, everywhere. You always have to look up when you come to Italy because so much is happening above your head. Look.
Just like that. What is what does it belong to? There's like no houses here. Love it. This is afternoon mood. We are in afternoon mode. We freshened up. We suited up because Let's it was cold. Fai We are on the main street, Via Toledo, and we're heading to another pastry shop. Which way? That way or that way? We are in the pastry shop where in 1785 the sfogliatella was made. La sfogliatella frolla. Frolla. Grazie. I'll show you. Grazie. So let's go outside. And it's warm. Aspetta, I want to show you from the outside the name of this place. Pintauro. And now let's go eat it. This is a stop that I wanted to add because it's a new pastry that was invented. It's called Fiocco di Neve and people have been raving about it. And this is the pastry shop that invented it. So here it is. Let me go pay. One euro fifty. So let's go pay. We have, we have two, two more things that we have to go and taste. So let's, let's go. go. I'll take you to a great place. Follow me because I know my way around Naples. <laughs> yeah, right. Three places I know. And we couldn't stop in Naples and not see the ocean, which is wrong to say the ocean because this is the sea. But everybody says the ocean in English. Look. Listen, listen, listen. Can you hear it? Ah, oh, how beautiful. Look how beautiful. <laughs> I just like you guys should see <laughs> what looks like something super simple. <laughs> we are sitting basically on the floor. On the other side there is like this massive traffic jam. <laughs> but we wanted to have a nice <laughs> ocean view. <laughs> Because we have to eat our pastries. We have to so eat our pastries. People are walking by. And they're just looking at us. Like, it's like looking at us, but who we cares? do not care at all. So Valeria, talk about this this thing that you've been talking about all day. She even studied it, obviously, because she's <laughs> the nerd, and so she knows what are we having. <laughs> this is fol sfogliatella, the second variety. Remember this morning we told you that the first one was riccia. And this is frolla, which is sort of like a like a pie crust, okay? And the place that we went to, Pintauro, is actually the first the first pastry shop and the first pastry chef, if that's how they were called back in the 1700s, that brought it to Naples because, as all wonderful things, things the best things happen just by out of necessity because yeah, or by mistake in a convent back then some nuns just had some leftover ingredients and they just stuffed it with a little few ingredients put it in and they and it was such a huge success and so Pintauro he was able to put hands on the original recipe so he was the first one to bring it to Naples having said this let's eat again so this was actually the first one yes see so this is did you say it's sweet yes okay she said it sfogliatella I wasn't is I wasn't sweet well, not everybody knows what a sfogliatella is and we had one this morning <sighs> you forgot age no how could I forget it was it was so, so good, good. Mm. Mm. so the filling is gonna be the same on both versions yeah with the ricotta, candied fruits. Very good. Very good. And strangely enough, it's not particularly sweet. Mm -hmm. Not even the sfogliatella that we had this morning. I must say, I do like it. And I do not have a sweet tooth. 
around. So yeah. This pastry shop, the chef, he invented this new pastry. Fiocco di neve, which means snowflake. Snowflake. Just the name is beautiful. Fiocco di neve, snowflake. And it has been a huge success. It's stuffed with some, I guess, white cream. I have never tasted it. Oh, you have never? I thought you said you had tasted no. it. No. And so a lot of pastry shops have tried to replicate it, but his is, you, you can't. I mean, oh. this is the original Fiocco so, di neve. So you've oh, never look, had... Look, look. You see, it's there is something white and creamy. And everybody who eats this is just like when you. No, I was outside because I didn't know where she was. Where she, I mean, I, I, I knew she went to buy something, but people outside were like biting uh, into this, and they're like, oh, 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 my like, God, okay. must be. So Let's you go for it, it first. Are Let's you gonna open, open it? it? No, I think you have to bite into it. I'll just bite. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, careful with the sugar. You could choke. I think Thoughts. I think it's a ricotta and whipping cream mixed together. It is middle. It is like an airy, fluffy, very light. But whatever it's wrapped around, it's it's a little because it's not crunchy. No. It's not at all crunchy. It's very soft. So it actually allows the cream <laughs> to express. I like it. No, it's particular. It's like if it was a panino latte, like it was like a bread that you would. <coughs> it's very good. I like it. Yeah. Unexpected because I didn't expect to taste the ricotta in it. No. But as you see, ricotta is like the ingredient. Oh, it's big here. It's big. The I mean, ingredient. it's everywhere. I had actually never thought it was that big. But all the pastries that we've had have had the ricotta inside. Yes. Not even the pastries, also the pizzas. Every single fried pizza that we had had ricotta inside. No. No. <laughs> well, Benny says that she has a sense of of orientation. Well, I brought you here. Let's just tell everybody. And now, Benny, please, this is your spot. Well, it's not my spot, but I think it's, it's something really nice to show. So, Giralo. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look. You see, here, a hundred years ago, the chef of this restaurant called Pizzeria Brandi invented the pizza margherita. And I think that this is pretty cool. Right? Yes, and now later Benedetta will, will tell you all about it. All the story of why it was created and why it was given that name. Yes, I will tell you later. In front of a pizza margherita that we're going to have, right? Vedi, antica pizzeria della Regina d'Italia. Yes. Because ancient pizzeria of the Queen of Italy, because that's exactly why. Okay, let's just tell them. That's why it was called this way, in honor of the Queen of Italy and in honor of the once the, upon a time the once, the once upon a time exactly Queen, Queen of Italy, of Italy. I mean, yes and to honor the Italian flag with the colors red the tomato sauce white the mozzarella and, and green, green the basil leaf the basil Are they get belle il forno. Il forno. Look over there. let's see the oven you see the wood oven over there okay basta yeah we're we're we just wanted you to see this because it's pretty I want to tell you a story about il caffè sospeso, which is something beautiful. It's a beautiful concept that was actually born here in this ancient cafe called Gambrinus. And in the mid 1800s, there started this tradition where you pay for a coffee for someone who will come after you but cannot afford the pleasure of a coffee. And so that is called sospeso, caffè sospeso. Sospeso means like, Sus like suspended. suspended, like something that just suspends in the air or something that, uh, it's a very complicated word, but the concept is il caffè sospeso is something that started here 
And still today you have this tradition, not only here but everywhere, where you pay for a coffee for someone who will be coming after you that cannot afford the pleasure of a coffee. So if you come to Naples, just play into this tradition of paying two coffees when you just drink one. We're back at square one because remember no, that we're not at square one because we've never had wine today. Benny, follow me. <laughs> we're back to square one because remember that pizza frita that we had? The one like that. It's right over there. Because here there are a lot of little a lot of little cute little places and so we said we don't feel like we need to eat. But we really, really feel like we could enjoy a great local wine, because this is local red wine that you chose. Yes, we took it. Which is called? Taurasi from 2017. It's a beautiful Taurasi. red wine. I have no it's idea. typical from here. Okay. And, uh, and we actually deserve we did not. He's like, would you like a glass or a bottle? We looked at him. Oh, like, I think a bottle. We're, we're a bottle too, you know. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so, cheers to you. Cheers to you. Cheers and to cheers you guys. to you. Ready for another day to eat and taste the local foods. Benny. <laughs> Trying to give a sense to my hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sorry you saw that. <laughs> We're going to finish packing and then off we go to. We have a little few other things that we need to tick off our list. We are about to have a cuoppo di terra. You'll see what it is. It's a whole bunch of fried, terra means earth, so a whole bunch of fried veggies and other things in this really cool place. And uh, we'll see how it's done. Canale! Si gira! Ah, ma poi ci fate tutto qua, però, prima di girare. Ma l'abbiamo truccati, ragazzi, prima di girare. Ma... Ma chiama la tua stella, fa la truccatrice? No. Non fa nulla. Nulla! E là rimane, come sta bene senza la, fare nulla? No, no. no. Valeria Valeria. Valeria. Immobile, la ferma senza fare nulla. <ride> Lei è un artista nel non fare nulla. Ma ci vuole anche un arte non fare nulla, eh? Andiamo e non lo sappiamo, se non sa che adesso non fanno nulla. Non lo sappiamo, non li vedevo già. <ride> Che è quello? Quello che stai facendo? Zeppolina. Ah, il zeppolino. Ma poi ci rimanete la nuova della pagina così? Ma certo. Let's see what they're doing. Qua c'è il lavandino. So practically here they order a whole bunch of things. You can have various kinds of coffee. They could be with fish, they could be with veggies, they could be mixed. And so then everything is deep fried, fresh on the spot, and then they're put in these trays where they get salted and the oil gets out and then we're gonna eat them and we really look forward to tasting this typical thing of Naples, vero? Yes. No, no, non so no, parlare. Vai, parla, parla, parla. C'è l'artista del non fare niente, Valeria. Tanto bella seduta, spacca Napoli, immobile, mentre l'altra sorella riprende. it up, prepares it, <laughs> he's preparing ours, thank you, Thank you. Look, look, look. Limoncotto. 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 Here is another local dish. 
it is another local specialty. It's called il cuoco, which is basically fried food in this little card, board, paper. It's just brown paper. Brown paper, that was the name. And it's fried food. So you have two main varieties. Then obviously they came up with many more. You have terra, which is the one that we're having with ingredients that come from the land. And so you've got mainly veggies. There's no, potato croquets, all... Why oh, there's so many people? Grazie. And let me finish and then we'll show you what they just brought Benny because Benny now became their best friends. It's also cuoco di mare, which is made with seafood. Now, Benny? So I went behind, I went in the kitchen to, uh, to see what they were doing in the preparation of this. And he came up with this, which is a zucchini blossom covered in almonds? chopped up almonds and I said is this in our cuapo and he said no this is the in the gourmet cuapo and then I just went oh and he did one for me oh <laughs> <laughs> and yes and I've never seen it this way I've never, I mean, so I'm gonna try it first oh it's nothing in fact oh it's nothing really it's not it's not stuffed let me see. Because in Rome we have it stuffed with mozzarella and anchovies. But here they, instead of stuffing it, they have a crunchy outside. Mm. I think there's something inside. Buonissimo. Give me the cuoco. So again, this is something that you have to have when you come to Naples. I want to show you where we're sitting. This is the beautiful part. Look, this is the place. And we are just in the middle sitting of a very narrow street. You see, as usual, it's like Naples, Naples, Naples. What did he say? Wait, so, we digged in and we have to show you. So not only do they have chopped and fried vegetables. Like you have zucchini and eggplant and, and little french fries. <coughs> but also this sort of arancino, potato croquet. And then this is a zippola, which is a fried dough, right? There's nothing inside, it's just a little fried. No. Let's just add a little bit of calories. And and this is their classic pasta. That we had. That we had. We even have like a frittatina di pasta. Just like a portable di pasta. Yeah. pasta. You see, so it's a, a mixture of... Oh. Okay. Um, yeah. Couldn't leave Naples without having the traditional baba. <laughs> And a local foodie suggested to come to this very place. So let's go see what it's all about. Bye, Benny. And of course, we have our luggage with us. We have a whole bunch of goodies, souvenirs. Baba is... Wow. Look. Well, let's go inside and see. This is a baba, and it is a very... When it's baked, it's a very dry pastry and then it is put to soak in a syrup made with rum. And we're gonna try this one. Final stop. Look, I wanna show you closely what the baba looks like. And you see all this wet? This is the liquor. And of course, Benny got the big one. You see that? <laughs> That's not true. Yes, it's true. I just asked for a baba, she asked for the big one. Just so that you know the difference. Look at the difference. <laughs> Look at the difference. Okay. 
So, how are we going to work into this? I my, Mine's small, and so I'm going to eat it with my hands. You know, I think this is the first time I ever have a badba in my life. I don't think I've ever had one. How do you mm. eat it? Do you, oh. oh, wow, it's super soft. Look at that. Um, the alcohol is not too strong. Let's just do this with our hands. So it's very We've spongy been told inside. That this is see. the best place to have it. Yes, and apparently... No. It's really good. For some reason, I thought it was going to be so much more alcoholic. Mm -mm. I but really it's like not. It. Here, have some more. Just see. She just. Then she says that she doesn't like pastry. <laughs> Look. So it's like a huge sponge. Mm. Yeah. That is then. That is what. It is, when it's baked, it's baked super dry because then it has to soak and absorb all the juices. Wow, this is really good. And it's super light. And it's super light. I must confess that I've been very hesitant to, to eat this because in my imagination, I imagine it to be very heavy, packed with alcohol and super sweet, but it's super soft. There's Very a hint delicate. of alcohol. It's and not actually, sweet at all. At I mean, the end slightly. of a meal, with some with a cafe espresso. Yeah. I think it's okay. Vale, uh, you're moving. You, you see how she's eating it with so much velocity? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. After this you see? intense when day. You have local friends. Yeah. I mean, this place. We would have never found it. Never, ever. We would have never even come in this neighborhood. No. No, but we're very grateful we did. Yeah, small little treasures. And with this, we must say that our less than 48 hours in Naples was incredible. And I think we did more than 10. No, I'm, no I'm, now we're going to sit down and count it, but I'm sure we, we range around 12, 13. So it, all the details of what we had to eat will be in the description below. So next time you need to come to Naples when you travel. Oh, absolutely! To Italy. You have to add Naples to your to your. I mean, you cannot not come to Italy and not go to Naples. Yeah. So if you come to Rome, and then with our tips, I mean, you really know that you can get the best of the best of the best local stuff. Yes, because we will be writing an, it an itinerary of the best places so that you can sort of do like do it your by yourself but with all the local insights that we have received mm. so now it is almost time for us to get to our train it has been magnificent i just had so much fun magnificent is the word magnificent is the word Mwah.